Um, if you really want to be kind of a, a champion uh, for public health from an emergency department perspective, again, know your local public health leaders. Um, they would love to meet with you, understand what you're doing, and see how they can co collaborate. Know your legislators. Um, don't just wait till you, you think that your grant may be, um, may be cut from, from whatever grant or project you may have. Know your legislators. Um, develop relationships with policymakers. Go up to MDHHS and, 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 and have relationships with people before you actually need something. Help them see you as just a partner in general in improving the health of the community. It's really important. So today is a new fiscal year. <laughs> it's really important that you understand how the budget process works in the state, particularly when you're seeking to uh, get funding or you're worried about um, when your funding may start or end. I know I heard when I was, um, as of last week, <laughs> when, when I was in the state, uh, people were very concerned and said, oh, my, my money's, my funding's running out. Well, everyone's funding. My own salary was running out because there was no budget approved. So I think just understanding the concepts and how budgets uh, work is also really important and can be used to your advantage. When you're advocating with uh, policymakers, know your key statistics, be very succinct, have a specific ask, and know the projected uh, impact of your ask. This is something when I used to teach in NDC, um, health policy, it's really important that you understand how to advocate. Policymakers don't want to be presented a bunch of uh, 30 page papers and research articles. They want to know what's the impact, <laughs> how much is it going to cost, how am I going to get it done? Um, and, and that's really important when you're advocating for, with people and, and with legislators that you really have a specific ask. And then also, please realize, I, I mean, having worked in Baltimore, Detroit at the state level, Public health staff, you will not find a more um, committed uh, staff, but they're also uh, a little bit tired right now, and they're also underfunded and under understaffed. So really just keep that in mind um, when you're seeking to engage, um, when you, when you want to work on projects with them. They can actually use your support and try not to yell at them too much uh, if you get frustrated because they, they are certainly working hard. <laughs>